Okay, so my tips for better sleep that have been helping me. Don't eat too close to bedtime and don't end the day feeling just full to the point of pain. Now that should be obvious and I'm talking to myself right now. Don't do that, John. Don't do that. Sometimes eating makes me sleepy and then it makes me fall asleep as I'm digesting it. And then a couple hours later, I wake up. So that's bad. Next thing, some things from the Huberman Labs podcast that have been helping me. One is uh, as soon as you get up in the morning, get sunlight into your eyes and wait an hour to 90 minutes before having caffeine. Now it's supposed to, both those things are supposed to allow your body's natural sleep chemicals to work so that you get your rhythm going and you fall asleep at the time that you want to. Okay, a big one that I got recently was I went to a sleep workshop and the sleep expert said, he explained how sleep cycles work through the night. And you go through these, these, these like three hour cycles or something like that. And at the end of a cycle, which has, you know, the deep REM, super deep, I don't, I don't know all the technical stuff, but I, what I do remember is at the end of a cycle, you wake for a moment because during the deep cycles, you're paralyzed. And so when you, you wake for a moment to adjust, to move your body to, so that you don't get crampy and, you know, hurt your muscular system by just being frozen for all night. So you wake up for a moment, you move, maybe you go pee or you have to pee. Now, this is super important because if you know that this is a natural part of sleep, it's so much easier to get back to sleep. If you wake and you're like, fuck, I'm awake, God damn it. You're now spinning out into the, I should be sleeping, something's wrong, I've got, damn it, I need to sleep. And now that's the worst place to be if you wanna sleep. Best place is just like, whatever, I'm just resting. But what's helped me, so I, you know, I wake up in the middle of the night, often I have to pee because I'm in my 50s and my bladder is a f f expressive mechanism. And so I will I'll go pee and if, so often there's a little bit of a dream left in my mind. And so what is super helpful is if I stay thinking about the dream, keep trying to think about what was happening in that dream, what was going on in that dream. The wrong thing to do is if a thought pops in about the default world, something that has to happen tomorrow, anything about default world, the real life stuff, try hard not to think about that and try to think about what happened in the dream or think about nothing. Just like let it go like you're meditating. Oof, let it go, let it go. If there's any threads of default world, then those threads start to get their spinning going and it, then you have to you know, wind down again. But if you can stay in sleep mode, so think, just thinking about what happened in the dream, which, what was going on in the dream, what was going on, blah, blah, blah. and if you stay there and then I'm gonna crawl back in bed, it's way, it's like instantly go back to sleep. When I am going, another one, when I'm going to bed, the first thing, there's two things that I do. One, I listen to ASMR a lot. You know, ASMR are these videos on YouTube, people doing things that, for me, I get a body sensation of tingling, like with whisper. And they're usually talking, they're looking into the camera, and sometimes they're doing like a role play. Oh, welcome. You're here for your doctor's appointment. Okay. Now, if this is weird for you and you don't know anything about ASMR, you should probably read up on that uh, so you don't think I'm so weird. Many people have a physical sensation of like tingles and relaxation based on these, what they call their triggers. Now, some people's triggers are sounds or tapping and you wear it with headphones, and I get a tingly sensation and it calms me down. But even if I'm not in tingle mode, like I don't put on headphones, still just like someone calmly doing like an eye exam and me just like fo trying to focus on, concentrate on what they're saying instead of like letting my mind spin it. Just like, and just getting kind of zoning into this topic that has nothing to do with anything important. It's like reading a boring book. And then I, and I notice myself to get a little sleepy Turn up, close my computer, take out my head, and go to, go to bed. Now, go to bed for me, because I can, I can. The transition can be hard from ASMR, doctor's appointment, or whatever, to sleep. So what I do then is the final tip is when like, there's all these different things I've heard of, of, like go down a corridor and count down from a thousand by threes, or what helps me is right when I lie down, 
I try to like with the darkness or blackness of what I see behind my eyes I, I I'll like notice like a blurry shapey thing in in that blackness and I just try to like look at that but not focus on it kind of like let my eyes just like relax and focus on the nothing of it kind of like you're looking at like you know, those, those magic eye posters where there's like dots and you stare at it and like let your eyes kind of cross and then it becomes something except in this it doesn't become anything you just kind of let your eyes just kind of relax and look at this blurry shape in the blackness and just kind of let that be the focus or the and let the focus be as relaxed as possible that's what works for me um, that being said, if I drink caffeine too late in the day, I can tell almost immediately, like, I'm not going to fall asleep. Like, I'm, I have no fatigue in my body right now. So hopefully that is helpful. I think that's all I got on my list of sleepness. So I will hopefully see you in Dream World.